Hi, this is Derek with Automatic Door and Hardware. Today we are looking at a, the Stanley um, One Pro controller. This is the black label controller. And I'm gonna be going over some of the common uh, display uh, errors that you get and what to uh, expect here on the display, just in case you were curious. Um, so this is the two digit display right here. And this is going to give us all our diagnostics um, for um, running an FIS, for the door status, um, and it will tell us um, any error codes as well that uh, exist in the control. First off, we're gonna go through the different, um, the different cycle uh, codes that will pop up, and these always pop up during normal operation. Um, so if you were to pop up your, um, pop open your header cover, and again, let me back up first. We are doing this for a swing door, um, so we're going to be talking about the door states right now, um, and these are going to be common, um, and your controller will display these, and if you see them on, it's not a big deal. It just is telling you that the controller knows where it's at in its cycle. <clears throat> so first one is going to be when the door is closed. When the door is closed, it's always going to read a zero, zero. Um, the next state is going to be zero, two. So zero, two means you are in your opening cycle. 0, 04 means you are almost completing your open open cycle. It means you're in open check, which is a secondary slower speed um, where the door will usually open up um, full speed. Then it hits a kind of a cushion to slow itself down so it doesn't come slamming against the wall. Um, and that is open check, which is 0, 04. Um, 0, 06 is going to be your full open position. That means that your door is fully open. <coughs> um, and then on the close side of things, uh, zero 09 is going to be your closed check, um, which is when you s just the first uh, 10 degrees or so when the door starts shutting. Now, the door status is normal to see on your control. Um, so, you know, a good functioning control will cycle through those. So, um, let's say your door is opening, you're going to start, it's, your control will say zero, 00 when it's closed, and then it's going to go to zero 02, it's going to come almost all the way open, hit zero 04, which is your open check then hit 06 when it's fully open and stops. Um, then it will come closed and then hit 09 and close check and then come shut, which is 00. For error codes, um, <clears throat> this controller is pretty intelligent. It does recognize status codes. Um, so the common status codes you may see are uh, zero with a little lowercase b, which would be for obstruction. This would happen if your swing door started opening and maybe somebody was on the other side and hit, got hit by the door. Um, then it would read the OB code and should come shut. The next common status code that can happen is 20. Now I see 20 a lot when people are trying to um, reprogram their controls uh, because if you have a 20 code, it's for breakout. And if you have that code, the door will not operate. Um, it thinks that uh, it basically puts it in a safety mode. Um, it doesn't allow any, doesn't allow the motor to run. Um, so 20 means breakout. So code 35 is going to be a motor failure. So that means that motor drive failure. Sorry, um, and that means that your controller is no good. Um, so if you get a 35, you need to replace the controller. If you have a code of uh, a0, that means that your controller is unconfigured and it needs to go through a learn cycle. Um, if you have a code of A1, that means you are currently in the process of doing a learn, but it has not completed. If you are in uh, code A2, that means your learn is complete and the controller just needs to be locked out up to, to clear that status code. If you have a B1, that is going to correlate to an encoder error. Um, so check your uh, cable, make sure your encoder's not cut anywhere um, and you have no wire shorting. Um, if you have a B2 error, that B2 error is gonna actually correspond to um, mainly their newer controls, um, but it's an encoder mismatch. Um, so later in their life cycle, Stanley changed the encoder type, so you can't use that. It's not backwards compatible with their older controls like this 521 Pro. Um, so you will occasionally, I occasionally see that. Um, B3 is an encoder failure um, and C1 is a learn error. 
So those are the uh, common status codes there. Thank you guys.